Good evening, I'm Spot On Weather meteorologist Matthew Euler, and tonight I titled this presentation, Release the Arctic Hounds. And so I was at Bush Gardens last night, and up in Williamsburg, and I noticed how warmly everybody was dressed on the tram, uh, which takes you to and from the entrance to the parking lot. And I was really tempted last night to actually take a picture and put that on tonight's presentation how warmly everybody was dressed and I was going to actually title the next presentation all aboard the Arctic Express but I decided against it and you know I figured look we've got some Iditarod dogs here um, this actually will represent what it feels like when the Arctic air comes to Southeast Virginia uh, it's going to be really cold folks so let's get going tonight we got a lot to talk about alright so we're gonna start off with a satellite image here and both the satellite image on the left and some surface uh, weather station plots on the right. And these are uh, valid 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the 29th of December, 2017. What you'll notice here on this image, this infrared image, is you do have an area of clouds that is generally moving in from the west-southwest towards Hampton Roads um, this evening. And believe it or not, there is there are some returns back here, of some possible frozen precip, especially snow, mainly back uh, uh, west of Interstate 85 this evening. And this is generally moving to the east-northeast. So it'll be interesting to see if we get a few flurries later tonight across southeast Virginia. Uh, one thing we do need to definitely consider is the air mass is very dry. So for example, right now, uh, right around our area, we have a temperature of 37 degrees with a dew point of eight. With such a large spread in the temperature dew point, most likely what's going to happen is, is as this moisture falls uh, into the lower levels of the atmosphere, it's just too dry. And what will happen is the moisture will evaporate. So most likely we won't see any snowflakes reaching the ground. They may only just be a loft, and that's probably what the radar is picking up right now. But it's interesting that this is a little disturbance coming in from the west, and it is generating some form of precip or attempting to do so. Looking over here on the right, like I mentioned in my last video, uh, what I really focus in on when thinking about the upcoming weather is what's going on upstream. And upstream is generally to the northwest of southeast Virginia. So over the Midwestern states, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, especially these states here, the three states I mentioned, generally whatever weather they have, we usually get 24 hours later. So what's interesting with this, and of course we won't be quite as cold as the 14 degrees right now it is, uh, Chicago has, or the 16 degrees in Peoria and central Illinois, or the 18 degrees in Indianapolis, it will moderate somewhat as the air mass transits southeast, rises up over these Appalachian Mountains, and then descends down the leeward side. But nonetheless, this is showing you how cold this air mass remains to the northwest of our area. Madison, Wisconsin, 13 degrees right now with light snow. And there is light snow across Illinois, Indiana, Cincinnati even, down on the Ohio River's got snow right now. And it is accumulating back in that location. Just showing you again what's to come um, with this weather pattern as the winds blow from the northwest to the southeast. So let's go ahead and start off with our current analysis. On the 29th of December 2017, we have a main finger of the polar front jet that's coming down from north central Canada all the way rotating into the Midwestern US and into the Mid-Atlantic region. And with that kind of upper wind flow or upper wind pattern at 30,000 feet, that directs much colder Arctic air into the lower 48, especially the Midwestern US over to the Eastern seaboard. The coldest temperatures as of today remain um, to the Northwest, well to the Northwest over Canada. Uh, however, this air mass is going to reinforce what's currently in place and come down from Canada over the coming days. And I will show you that here in a moment. All right, now let's take a look at the forecast for Valid um, Saturday, tomorrow, the 30th of December. This looks to be our warmest day in Southeast Virginia. We're expecting high temperatures in the lower to middle 40s tomorrow on the 30th of December. Um, as these winds, they're not as direct from the Northwest. Um, we are expecting more of a southwest surface wind flow temporarily tomorrow out ahead of another strong Arctic cold front. And that Arctic cold front will move through tomorrow, late tomorrow night, and you will know when that thing comes through because your skin will be stinging. And that stingy feeling from the Arctic air when it hits your face, you know when it's here. And so tomorrow evening the Arctic front comes through after a mild day, 
and we are expecting the core of this cold, this red area, these maroon colors, we do expect this to pivot down towards the mid-Atlantic and to the east coast of the U.S. over the next 24 hours. New Year's Eve, very, very cold, folks. I cannot emphasize enough how cold it is going to feel New Year's Eve in Southeast Virginia. If you were to venture to Times Square in New York City, you would be really, really cold. Um, temperatures may be as low as 10 degrees above zero with easily the wind chills below zero uh, when the um, ball drops up there. But if you look at this, the upper wind pattern for New Year's Eve, again, coming from Canada, follow this around. The base of the long wave trough is just planted over the Midwest and the Eastern U.S. Here comes the red colors. These are your coldest temperatures. Here's your scale on the bottom, degrees Celsius. All these reds are coming down from Canada and pouring into the Midwest and ultimately into Southeast Virginia. These winds are pointed from the Northwest, these arrows from the Northwest to the Southeast. And then on New Year's Day, not much change, really cold. This ridge is reestablishing itself or amplifying itself up over Western Canada. That then dislodges the cold air, that very core of the cold air that was here dislodges it Southeast. And there you go, a long wave trough, a very deep trough planted over the eastern U.S. Temperatures come crashing down, and it is going to be very cold, folks. All right, so here's the surface analysis for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I want you to pay attention to this. Again, I mentioned it in the last video, but 1,050 plus millibar high is definitely an Arctic high. 1,055 millibars over South Dakota by New Year's Day. Overall, though, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day look dry countrywide all the way from west to east coast for the most part. It's just going to be so frigid. Basically from Iowa points eastward to New England, mid-Atlantic, just this area in general is going to be so cold New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Here's the forecast for Tuesday the 2nd of January. Here's the jet stream. Again, you have a little bit of ridging over western Canada. A deep trough is over the midwestern and eastern U.S that continually reloads the Arctic air. It comes and pivots down towards the southeast, towards the east coast, and you get hit with these Arctic surges. Wednesday the 3rd of January. This is the time where you have the jet stream. This area that's yellow is an area of uh, higher wind speeds within the jet stream core. That's known as a jet maximum. And it's 120 to 140 knots of wind coming in and digging into the base of the long wave trough on its western side, digging into the long wave trough, and that eventually will allow this next surge of Arctic air to really come pouring in. We do expect Wednesday to somewhat temperatures to moderate into the um, 30s again during the daytime before this next surge of Arctic air comes spilling southeast by Thursday the 4th and Friday the 5th. Here is Thursday the 4th. Again, notice this ridging over western Canada. Again, that dislodges the Arctic air southeast, follows the upper level wind pattern, this upper air river known as the jet stream. And here comes the next pivot of very cold air, riding these jet stream winds into the Midwest and into Southeast Virginia. All right, I also wanted to show you a chart tonight, courtesy of NOAA. These are the water temperatures, and this is the operational forecast system for Chesapeake Bay. This is actually Sewell's Point, which is right in the area here around Norfolk. Um, current water temperature has dropped from 46 to 42 from Christmas Day to now. So from Monday to today, Friday, the 29th of December, the water temperature has dropped four degrees, just four degrees. And then this line represents generally where the water temperatures are going to be forecasted to become. So by 1300, by 1 p.m. Eastern time, um, we expected the sea surface temperatures today to drop all the way down further to 40. And then over time, by the time we get to the 31st at, uh, New Year's Eve day, around 1 p.m. Eastern Time, they're going to drop down to 39 degrees. Why do I mention this? Because water temperatures have such an important role in modifying the overlying air mass, especially when it comes to winter-type storm events for Southeast Virginia. The lower this goes, the greater the likelihood we're going to see snow in the future. All right, so here are my final thoughts, and I really want to be specific and elaborate on this. We do have Arctic reinforcements that are expected from 31 December through 7 January, keeping conditions very cold and well below the average high of 48 degrees across southeast Virginia. 
All right, so we do have a couple more Arctic surges that are really gonna, you're really gonna feel the chill out there, folks. We do have a relatively mild day, and I put mild in quotation marks because it's not really mild, it's still below normal. For Saturday the 30th tomorrow, 30th of December, where we're expecting high temperatures to reach in the lower to middle 40s, we do have southwesterly winds, temporarily uh, bringing warmer air, um, modifying the air mass that's currently in place tomorrow, and then tomorrow evening, late tomorrow night, there'll be an Arctic cold front that moves through southeast Virginia, resulting in sharply falling and colder temperatures New Year's Eve day all the way through to January. That 48-hour period, we may not reach 32 degrees for a high. We expect temperatures to range from the teens during the morning to the upper 20s to lower 30s each day. I would not be surprised, though, with the level of Arctic air that's about to surge in if we stay below 32, both actually the 30, uh, 31st of 30th of December, starting tomorrow night, the 31st of December, 1st of January, 2nd of January, are going to be a very cold period with very strong Gusty north to northwest winds, 15 to 25 miles per hour with higher gusts than 30 miles per hour will result in dangerously low wind chills as low as 0 to 10 degrees above zero Sunday night and again on Monday night and a Tuesday morning. All right, so prepare now for a very cold New Year's Eve if you have outdoor plans and be sure you dress warmly and, and do so in layers of celebrating outdoors. We are expecting an air temperature of 20 degrees with wind chills between 5 and 10 degrees above zero at midnight on New Year's Eve across the area. This is going to be one very cold New Year's Eve. Try to find celebrations indoors because it is going to be frigid outside. It's possible we may see bay streamers. We may see some snow flurries. A bay streamer is when you get really cold temperatures at about 5,000 feet on strong north and northwesterly winds. They blow over the relatively warmer waters of Chesapeake Bay and they result in some snow flurries into generally into southeast Virginia. We aren't expecting any accumulations with the bay streamers if they do occur on Monday, on uh, New Year's Day. Now, the big question everybody asks is, will we see a snowstorm? Right now, it does not look likely uh, looks like the cold Arctic air, this, this high is so strong, these, this high over the upper Midwest and upper Plain states is so strong, it's literally bringing such dry, cold Arctic air and squashing all the moisture to the south of the Gulf of Mexico or keeping it well off the East Coast. So right now it does not look likely, but it's still a possibility uh, somewhere between 3 and 6 January. So stay tuned for the latest updates. It's plenty cold enough for snow. Just a matter of if we get a system to move through, throw moisture over the top of this Arctic air mass. All right, folks, that wraps things up from Spot on Weather this evening. Thank you again for subscribing. Remember, if we're not spot on, we're not doing it right. Have a great Friday evening, everyone.